You didn't. Trees talk, but they're not very interesting. Kiflam, my antithesis or my antitheses. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video and following Michael's journey through the occult or the cult of Epsilon. And in this case, I'm merging two of the missions because they kind of segue well into each other. And the first one is bearing the truth, in which Michael has to wear some of the cult's um, attire and do it for 10 days. And the only way to really do this one is to just save. And then the next one is delivering the truth. After Michael wears the arraignment, the outfit of the occult for 10 days. He is contacted within a few minutes by another member, and he must go and deliver the truth. And like I said, they kind of segue into each other pretty well. So let's get on with the first mission, Bearing the Truth. Now, you first have to drive and meet Marnie or Mirna or whatever her name is, and she's in some alleyway somewhere. So, yeah, let's get on with this and enjoy the conversation with her. Don't worry, so what if people saw your vagina? We are all dead and we are all. Immortal. Hello, Zondar. <gasps> Are you ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? Kiflum. <laughs> now, you immediately get an email from Marnie that you have to order the robe. And you go to here. You go to the internet, you purchase the robe, and let's see, you visit the store at Epsilon. Like I said, you, you just go to the internet and order the robe. Twenty-five grand? Jesus! I mean, crap! Man, I love the internet. Now you get the confirmation email that your order is confirmed officially, and it'll be about 24 hours, which means 24 hours game time, you could bring Michael home and have him sleep for four times because Michael sleeps six hours a night or, a, or in six-hour interval, intervals. And you have to do it four times, which means when you put on the robes, the only way to for sure make sure Michael does get the full 10 days without any issues, you're going to have to sleep 40 times. So, yeah, let's get on with Michael receiving the robes. Oh, shit. Is that the time? I gotta go. Got a meeting at the studio. 
Michael has received the email that the robes have been delivered. Uh, once you get them home and you get the robes on, you can start the sleep period. And like you said, you're going to need to have him go to sleep four times to have a day pass. And each time it will tell you, you've ro worn the robe for one day, you've worn the robe for two days, you've worn the robe for 10 days. Once you get there, then you are done with this mission. And like I said, you'll immediately get contact from someone else in the cult to then deliver the truth, or the next mission would be delivering the truth. But let's get on with Michael wearing the robe for 10 days. Now Michael is in the closet and you have to switch outfits to Epsilon robes. And now that you've switched to the Epsilon robes, you have to wear the robes for 10 cumulative days to quell your antithesis, which means Michael's going to do a lot of sleeping. And yeah, after four times, he gets that magical 10 days. Yeah, I didn't even bother fast forwarding through all the 10 days. It's just sleeping. Now I get the message, you have worn the robes for 10 days. You will get an email from the cult leader, um, Chris. Let's check out the text. Chris says, or Kiflam, your robe clothed nakedness, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, okay. Now you get the emails up. Oh, these are property things. So Michael, over the past 10 days, has made about half a million dollars from the golf club. And I'm doing this now. Yeah, okay. Now you'll get another contact, and it will be from another cult member. Okay, I cut about 50 seconds of Michael walking around. Now, it's this from Jimmy Boston. Hey, Zondar, we need your help retrieving one of our sacred vessels. Head to the military base. A fellow acolyte will meet you there. So, yeah, you're going to be traveling to an area near the military base, which is right up here, and meet a fellow acolyte in order to deliver the truth. This is delivering the truth. And like I said, it quickly segues into the bearing the truth. You might as well just go wear your robes and meet the cult member. New light of truth, I need. I was told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay. Detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm in the top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it, and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry-level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield, I'll meet you there. Kiflam. Kiflam.
Let's talk. Don't be weird, man. Get flying, bro. Get flying. Got the money? Get flying. Cool. And the plane? <laughs> Get flying. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks. Oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, keep flying, man. Laters. Keep flying. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, there's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Keep flying. And there you have it, bearing and delivering the truth. You get this really wicked ocelot. It's powder blue, but it's actually a really good car. And hey, you can't sell it, but you can wreck it, have fun with it. There's some benefits to this cult. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four videos in relation to video games a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you want to stay informed. Unlike the truth, you don't have to wait. You can just enjoy the videos and have some fun. As always, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Oh, come on! Oh, God, I'm going to get knocked out by my own man boobs.